Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Thursday, April 28th, 2022. Uh, and this is Stitch Your Stash, I think number three. I already forgot, maybe number four. <laughs> I should have looked, but that's okay. So this time I didn't get to take any cute clips of me pulling yarn out the stash, stash and stuff because um, life is crazy. But I did use up two balls of yarn, mostly. <laughs> so I pulled out two balls of Premier Just Yarn Worsted, which I got at the Dollar Tree sometime last year or even 2020, I can't remember, it's been a while. And the colorway is Azure, Azure, Azu, Azu. <laughs> It's blue. That's blue. So it's number four worsted, and there were 131 yards in each ball. So I got two ball bands. I do have a scrap ball left over to put into my scrap balls for a scrap project, but I don't count those. Like, if I have a scrap left over, that goes into my scrap bucket, and then that counts as the, the scan being used, because <laughs> I will use this for like a scrap project, like this blanket, uh, eventually. Usually, I tend to use do scrap projects around the holidays. I guess it's something I can do to you know just in between doing the holiday things i can work on my blanket but anyways so that's gonna go my scrap bucket so i did make technically five projects out of those two little balls of yarn so the first one y'all have already seen and this is my little caddy here for our truck and this is a paid for pattern by heidi yates which is snappy tots and it's called the handy tissue pouch so it's got one of those little tissue packs in it and then it's also got hair on it <laughs> some hand sanitizer in this pocket down here I like the stitching because it's like a textured pretty stitch instead of just like single crochets or something and it's got this handle for you to loop it onto something in your vehicle or whatever so I did make that first and y'all have already seen this I used a H hook which is a five millimeter and then that same yarn and uh, so that was the first one doing sleeping behind y'all and then I wanted to make an amigurumi one day because I like making amigurumis and I haven't had much crochet time, so I've been trying to stick to littler things. So I'm, I've made this one before, a few years ago. I made a bunch of them, actually. But it's called The Woodland Birds by Crow Originals. Crow Originals. <laughs> um, and it's called, um, it's The Woodland Birds. It's a free PDF download from Ravelry. And it's got how to make different little birds. Like you can make a crow, a robin. Um, I think there's a finch on there. It's the same pattern, but it's just about the colors. So that makes it different. So I just made it blue with a little gold nose. Now this one I did hold this yard double because I wanted the bird to be slightly bigger. So he is double thick and I did use an H hook for him as well, which is five millimeter. And he's so cute. I made a bunch of these uh, a few years ago. And I, I believe um, Michelle from Pixie Marie Creates, she made some of these too. But it's, it's in five pieces, the body, the beak, the two wings, and the tail feather. And I just think it's so cute. And I did use safety eyes. These are 20 millimeter safety eyes. And he's got fiber fill in them. He's just cute. I thought he's cute. He's pretty big. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I made him with that yarn and a little bit of gold. And then the last thing, I want to start making a square blanket. Because I like working on blankets that you make squares and then attach them. Detaching stinks. Not my favorite. But I like being able to just whip out little squares here and there. So, I thought I would do that with some of my yarns I'm trying to use up for my stash. Like this one. So, I could, it'll be kind of like a scrappy blanket because it'll be all different colors. But, um... Yeah, so I went on Ravelry and was looking around for six inch squares, and I found this one. It's called a Small Winter Winter Burst by Dragonfly Mom of Two, <laughs> and again, same yarn and same hook because I I made all these within the same day when I was sitting underneath June. I was holding her, you know, and I was crocheting around her, so I had the same hook laying beside me. So this is also H hook. The pattern I believe calls for a G hook, but uh, I was just using what I had. So here's the first one. I did not weave in my ends yet. <laughs> I thought it was really pretty square, and I wanted to make like a scrappy looking blanket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a ton of squares, just probably throughout the year, and then eventually put them all together and make a big throw blanket with this pretty pattern. So I like it a lot. So I did make three of these. I made one, two, and three. And there wasn't enough of this to make a fourth one. There, This is 10 ounces, or 10 grams, and this these are 13 grams. So I wouldn't have had enough to... Um, make it on square. I waited. <laughs> I use my kitchen scale when I'm making stuff with this so I can see if I can squeeze out another one and I could not. So um, that's why I decided this is going to be scrap because I can't make enough square with it. So I'm, I saved this pattern. I can't remember if this was a PDF. I don't think it was. I'll link them all below but I, I got it on my phone. I took screenshots of it so I can save it on there and then every time I'm working on it with some yarn if I have some left over I can make some of these squares. 
But um, yeah, so I'm gonna just make a bunch of these different squares and different colors throughout the year. And eventually, when I got a good enough mount, <laughs> sew them all together and then maybe put a border on it and have a blanket to give to someone or get obsessed with and keep like this one. Cause this one was originally gonna be a gift, but I ended up loving this blanket. So it's mine now. <laughs> but um, I love it. I wanna make another one of these too. I wanna get up a whole bunch of more scrap balls cause I like the, uh, the way it looks. Cause it's scrappy, but it also looks like it was on purpose. So I like it a lot. But that is what I made with two skeins of yarn out of my stash. So I got two little holes in my stash cleared up. And I got two ball bands to add to my ball bands for the month and the year. And I was able to make some cute little blue projects. <laughs> I love the little bird. It's Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, and then I do have a scrap ball to add to my scrap balls. I'm pretty happy with that. So now I need to find some other yarn. I was going to make a wearable, but I realized it's going to take a long time. So if I wait to do that, it will, um, the stitcher stash will never come out. <laughs> I do have it pulled out already because there is a it's a vest that I want to make uh, for myself and I'm going to be working on it eventually I'll show that in like a no catch name episode eventually I need to film one of those maybe tomorrow if I have a chance but yeah so I will link all three of these patterns down below one of them is paid for and it is this one but uh, it's really nice pattern I love anything by Heidi Yates she has she, like I love all her patterns her and Michelle Estrada from Pixie Mary Crates Mary Smith used to make patterns, but she doesn't really make them anymore. She sells a lot now. But those are people that every time they put out a pattern, I know I'm going to love it because they just make beautiful patterns. But anyways, I'll link all these down below if you want to check them out. And this little bird is so cute. I could make like a million of these. And um, I think I might start saving up my amigurumis again and put them on my Etsy shop. I've done that a few times. And they usually sell pretty good, which is cool. Um, I do donate a lot of them to local charities here. And... Uh, but sometimes I like to sell them, you know, make a little bit of money so I can buy more safety eyes and stuff. But anyways, that is my stitcher stash number three or four or five. I can't remember. <laughs> I'll have to look. And then I got a scrap ball to go in my scrap bucket. So I'm going to have to look through my stash and find, I'm looking at it over here. I got some in the living room to pull out and make something else with. I've got a lot of just random balls that I need to use up. And that's the whole point of stitcher stash is to use up in random yarns that's just been sitting around for a while. But I'm going to hop off here and get this edited for you guys and put these little things where they go. This needs to go back in the truck. I had it in the truck and then I forgot that I needed to film this video. So I had to get Devin to bring it back in for me. So I gotta, I'll put it right here because this is stuff that goes outside. And uh, I need to weave in my ends. So ugh, I hate doing that. I wish I could like magically do that. And then put my ball bands with my April ball bands, which so far is just one other one. <laughs> I haven't got to crochet much at all this month, but that's okay. So I will see you guys in another video. Let me know down below what you guys are working on if you want to. And uh, let me know what you're making for dinner. <laughs> Tonight, we went grocery shopping today. What is it? Taste Thursday, yeah. And, um, let's see here. The only thing I have thought out right now is ground beef because I bought one of those big logs that's in the refrigerator. I gotta separate it. So I could either make something with ground beef or something that's meatless. Because we got um, different pasta things. And we've got uh, croissant rolls that we can, um, you know, roll up meat, and, lunch meat and cheese in and cook or pizza. We got stuff to make pizza. I don't know. It might just be a snacky day. <laughs> we got plenty of canned foods and things like that. Oh, I got chicken tenders. I don't know. It, didn't, it might be an easy day. Usually grocery day is an easy day because you're so tired from grocery shopping that you don't feel like cooking. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, I'm talking a lot now. I'm going to try to make more videos. Uh, this last week has just been hectic. June's been really, um, I hate saying clingy because she's a baby. Babies are supposed to be clingy. But she's just been really hard to set down for me to do stuff. But uh, this weekend, I'm going to be sewing. I already got all the bags cut and ready to go. Devin's off this weekend. So after Jesse's birthday party, we're going to come home for a little while. And I'm going to sew. And then that night, we're going to go to the drive-in to see the new Sonic movie. I'm super excited about that. And then um, we're having another stupid scheduled power outage that night, too. I hate those. <laughs> but um, so I'll probably sew Saturday and Sunday. And today, when I was at Walmart, I bought some more batting. Because I, I ran out of my big giant roll. <laughs> um, I got to order another one of those. Uh, cause there's some little, I got like more scrappy bits of fabric that I want to make just random bags out of just to get that out. I'm trying to use up my scrap fabric instead of letting it pile up. Cause I have a bad habit of letting it pile up and then I have a huge shelf full of just random pieces of fabric that is, um, frustrating to go through, you know? So I'm trying to do it better. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But I want to make some, um zipper bags the little ones i haven't made those in a while 
and uh, I don't know. I'll see what I got in there. I have to go through all everything and see what sizes I can cut out and uh, go from there. But anyways, yeah. So I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow in another video. Sometime on the, over the weekend, I might put out a little vlog from where we did Jason's birthday. Um, and yeah, I'm going to hop off here, like I done said. And I'm going to get some crocheting in while June is napping. And then I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys. Bye.